Hey, I'm Joyce Moyer Hostetter, coming to you from my kitchen table, which is where I do most of my writing. Mostly, I write historical fiction for young people. And I will be teaching what I'm learning and have learned about writing fiction at a fiction writing masterclass sponsored by Write to Ignite. This happens on September 19. Right to Ignite is a Christian organization that focuses on writing for young people. And you can find them on the web at www.writetoignite.com. But don't go there just yet, because first I want to tell you what to expect at the Fiction Writing Masterclass. I'll be covering three major sessions uh, the first one will be creating memorable characters. The second, exploring viewpoint and dialogue. So that's kind of two topics there. The third is developing plot. Like every other event on the face of the earth right now, this will be held online via Zoom. But that is kind of a silver lining to the COVID uh, pandemic because it means that it will be more accessible to people in a broader geographical area and it will be a little more affordable than uh, an in-person event would have been. In addition to giving input, I will be throwing some writing exercises at you and then you will be able to, you know, sit back and be reflective and do some writing and then come back to the event where you will go into breakout sessions with facilitators from Write to Ignite. They will lead you in maybe uh, hearing what each other has written and also exploring the topic more deeply. So I know that you will learn a lot from those experiences and also one of the major benefits from any writer event is the friendships with other writers that are made at the same time. Friendships that go on for a long time and that are can be support to you in your writing and it enables you to be supportive to others in their writing. So here's what you need to know. I'll be teaching a fiction writing masterclass on Saturday, September 19, starts at nine o'clock in the morning and goes until 5 30 in the afternoon and i know that is a long day but you will be able to eat lunch and take breaks and um it'll be a, an awesome day i'm quite confident so you can register for this event at www.writetoignite.com so take a minute to write that down Notice the number two in there. It's not right to ignite, do you? Now who can register? Anyone ages 14 to 114. Um, many writer conferences are directed to adults only, but one of the things, one of the things I love about Right to Ignite is that they have always included a teen track because there are so many gifted teens that want to develop their writing talents. Now, if you've never done a Zoom session and can not imagine, you know, breakout sessions via Zoom or a conference via Zoom, you'll get a chance to practice. So don't let that scare you off. There will be a practice session on Friday evening, September 18, the evening before the all day event at 7.30. If you register, you will receive a link ahead of time and you'll just click on that link and join the session and you'll get a chance to be oriented to what will happen the next day. So you're raring to go at nine o'clock. Another thing that will happen as a result of your registration is that there will be a giveaway of my Baker's Mountain stories, all four books to one winner. So you will be entered into that. So let me tell you about those. I wrote Blue in 2006. It was published in 2006. 
because a few years earlier, I had heard that there had been a polio epidemic back in 1944 in the Western North Carolina region. And I was so intrigued by that story and our community's response to the epidemic. Uh, it's feeling kind of current now as we talk, isn't it? Um, that I wanted to write about that story, that story of compassion and community togetherness. And so I researched and I came up with a character, Anne Faye Honeycutt, who sends her father off to war and accepts his challenge to become the man of the house while he's gone. And she doesn't realize a polio epidemic is coming their way and it affects her and her family in a big way. After I wrote Blue, I wanted to find out what happened to Anne Fay next, so I wrote Comfort. Comfort is a sequel to Blue, and it explores life after polio and the after effects of war on the family. After I wrote Blue and Comfort, notice the B and the C, my publisher asked me to write a prequel that would begin with the letter A. So, I thought about one of the major characters, supportive characters in Blue and Comfort, Junior Bledsoe, who was a neighbor boy, and I thought I would like to tell Junior's story. This book takes place in 1941, when the United States, when Pearl Harbor is bombed and the United States gets into the war, but it's also about Junior's grief journey and some of the struggles and trouble that he gets himself into in the wake of his father's death. An ABC book, so I decided to go ahead and do a D. And this story is the story of Ida and Ellie Honeycutt, twin sisters and Faye's twin sisters, who are 14 years old and they've, they're very connected because they're twins, but that presents its own unique challenges and they need to kind of find their way separate from each other. So this book is about their own individual drives, what makes them tick and how that affects their world. It's also about NASCAR a little bit because Ned Jarrett is a driving legend who emerged from this area where my characters live, a real life character. So it celebrates his story a bit too. I'm also happy to announce that the fifth and final book in the series will be coming out on April 6, 2020. Equal is the story of Anne Faye and Ida and Ellie's younger brother, Jackie, who, as a white boy, goes fishing on the riverbank, bumps into a black boy, and thinks maybe they can become friends. But because of race, and because their lives are quite different, they run into some interesting challenges to their relationship. This is 1960, and civil rights battles are taking place in the South, but in particular in North Carolina. So Jackie and Thomas are forming a relationship with that as sort of the background of what's going on, and it that creates a lot of its own emotional struggles. So that's what this book is about. Blue, as I said, was the first book that I wrote in this series. It is used in classrooms, elementary classrooms, middle grade classrooms, and even some university classrooms because it complements the other aspects of the cur curriculum so well. So it makes for some really integrated studies. Anne Faye has become a really beloved character to a lot of readers this year because of our um, coronavirus pandemic. Anne Faye is a character that some readers have identified with in a new way as they learn that a virus can indeed turn your world upside down. So I think Anne Faye is a pretty good role model and a pretty good friend to someone who's going through a difficult time and I'd like to share with you what I learned about her and how I found her story when we meet for the Fiction Writing Masters class on September 19. So I hope to see you there. See you later.